Yes, my banker bestie. Bol. Yo, who? What's up? So, how's my hottie? Well, the hottie is worried about the ever-growing paunch. Well, the paunch makes her look even hotter. <laughs> Anyways, bol kya ho? Yar, I wanted some gyan from you too. About? So, I was reading this article published on Mint that says retail inflation has come down from 6.44% to 5.66%. Hmm. So? So, why does it feel much higher than 5 to 6%? First, you tell me what is inflation. Well, it is a rate of price rise. Price rise of what? Of the things we consume. So, what I consume is different from what you consume, and similarly, someone else, correct? Yeah. So, so my dear friend, inflation on the whole is a theoretical construct, basically an idea conceived by the government. What I mean to say is, we all consume different things, so we all have a different rate of inflation at a personal level in a way. That's true. And the government has to calculate inflation on a broader societal level. And when they declare that the retail inflation rate for March is 5.66 percent, what they mean to say is it is the rate of inflation for the entire India. So how does the government come to this figure? Good question. So there are two indices that are used to measure inflation in India: the Consumer Price Index and the Wholesale Price Index. These two measure inflation on a monthly basis. By taking into account different approaches to calculate the change in the price of goods and services, now this study helps the government and the Reserve Bank of India to understand the price change in the market and thus keep a tab on inflation. समझी कि नहीं समझी? थोड़ा बहुत. Oh, I totally forgot. I have an office meet to decide where and where the next meet will be. Huh? Never mind. I got to go. Talk to you later. Investments in securities markets are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.